All right. Hey YouTube, Nate Clay here, aka Macintosh Geek, and this is my long-awaited review for the Apple iPod Touch. So first things first, we're just gonna go over the physical appearance. Um, it's the first thing you notice about any product you buy. Um, quick to notice, first things you see is um, I do have a case on this. But um, it still retains its thin shape. Um, the iPod Touch is very, very thin, even with this case on there. Um, it's just kind of amazing how thin it can re it really is, especially without the case on. But um, I'm not going to show you that just because it's kind of a hassle to take this thing off and put it back on. But um, just believe me, it's very thin. Uh, there's only two buttons on the entire um, thing. You just have a on off slash hold button which is right there. Turns the screen on and a home button to uh, whenever you enter an application you simply press the home button and it brings you back to the main screen. So pretty simple design, very easy to figure out where everything goes. Um, only two ports. We have the dock connector and the headphone jack. Um, on the back, it'll be a very shiny, without the case on, of course. It's very shiny, and it just has a little black corner, which is the Wi-Fi antenna. So, other than that, it's mostly just screen, and it's a gorgeous screen. Um, sitting at a solid uh, 3 inches, I believe it is. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure it's 3 inches. It's very big. Um, watching movies on this thing is a huge, huge upgrade over the iPod um, video I mean excuse me iPod fifth generation with video capability it's it's actually not called the iPod video that's a whole different topic though but uh, it is a huge difference over the iPod fifth gen or the iPod classic um, time to go over the actual software of the iPod so um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off this light here and um, so when you take off the hold button all you have to do is slide to unlock and there you go. Uh, if you're familiar with uh, the iPhone, you're going to be right at home with the uh, iPod Touch. It's exact replica. It's as if they just took the software and put it on the iPod Touch. It's just minus the phone functionalities. So um, if you have never used the uh, iPhone or iPod Touch and you just you just want to play around a little bit, um, I seriously... Um, insist that you go to an Apple store and um, just check it out because I mean there's no harm in it it's free you just mess around as much as you want it's a great thing about Apple you can try any of their products at the store but um so let's go ahead and um show you what it's like um so uh, you just go into any application um, the main ones you would look at would be down here uh, that'd be music videos photos and Safari um, so this is the only Apple iPod, if you don't count the iPhone as an iPod, this is the only iPod that can surf the internet. Um, first, let's just go to music. Um, music, very well organized. You just got categories you can search by, artists, songs, albums, and then you just scroll through. Um, it's really easy to figure out. Um, you, you don't have to be a genius to figure this out at all. It's so Everything is so easily integrated. Tilt it to the side, you enter cover flow, and you just start flicking and find an album you want. It's just so easy. And then, let's say you want to listen to some Blink-182, you double tap it, you find the song you want. So, um, for instance, let's say you just want to listen to First Date. It starts to play. Once you tilt back, it'll enter the now playing mode. Uh, when a song is playing, Again, simple controls, you just hit pause or play, next song, previous, and you just got your volume slider. It's so easy to use. Um, if you want, if you're listening to an album and you want to pick a new song off it, double tap the album and just find any song you want. And up here you can rate the album, how many stars you want, so it'll play more or less, or the song, not the album. But um, also, if you want, you can put it on shuffle mode or non shuffle mode. So yeah. So music is great. It's so easy to find the song you want. It's way easier than um the other iPod interfaces because this way you can just scroll through and pick it out in the list so fast. So let's go to videos. Um videos 
are gorgeous on here. So let's watch some Juno. Great movie. So, plays in widescreen, which is very nice. You just tap it and you get these really easy controls. Um, I can even go to scene selection because this is a movie. So that's really sweet. So, um, just pick a random scene with underwear right on there. Very nice. Um, and uh, yeah, you can just control the volume, you control your place in the movie up here. And let's say it kind of looks a little off to you, maybe their faces are a little wide or something. You can just double tap and it will go into little widescreen mode. But since this movie's already in widescreen, no harm in making it full screen. But um, you see the difference, it cuts off more widescreen or full screen. So I prefer. You know, if you're watching a movie like this, it's nicer this way because you can see more. But if you're watching a movie you download it on there, chances are when you double tap it, it'll enter the widescreen mode. It'll just spread it out more and just fill up the screen. So it's nice that Apple added both ways of looking at it. Um, Safari, pretty easy to use. Um, I definitely, since it's just an iPod and you can just get on Wi-Fi and you can't go wherever you want with it, Safari is um nice, but you know if you're gonna go go somewhere, I wouldn't rely on your iPod to be the best device to bring with you for internet browsing, especially if you have a laptop. It is a nice added feature, but um I don't know. I don't I don't use it that much, you know. Let's say I'm going to Caribou or Starbucks and you know, I'm enjoying some smoothies, and I have this with me, I'll go surf the internet. But if I'm going to be going on a long, like, plane ride to somewhere, and I know I'm going to be there for a while, and I want to get on the internet, I'm probably going to rely on my MacBook. But other than that, it has a very gorgeous interface, um, easy to figure out. You can go through multiple screens, and um, if you want to change something around, hold down a button. Just move it around wherever you want. It's as simple as that. So, um, yeah. That pretty much concludes the interface. I don't want to go over every single feature this thing has to offer because there's tons. So, um, let's just go over some positives and negatives. Um, positives, it's just, it's gorgeous. Um, there's so many nice features about this. Um, especially coming this summer, we're going to get a new thing called the App Store. And you can download uh, new applications. Some will cost money, some won't. Um, Apple's um, just adding this. It's going to be pretty sweet. So now you can get games and just new applications that people wrote for the iPod Touch and iPhone specifically. So it's going to be really sweet. Um, that should make this iPod a lot better. At this time, I'll be honest, Compared to some other iPods, uh, a lot of people are going to shy away from this because they're not going to need some of these features. Um, I personally love this thing. Um, I just love watching movies in widescreen and uh, I do enjoy surfing the internet because um, a lot of times for school we'll be uh, going other uh, around a lot for like band and stuff. Like we'll go um, on like... Uh, festivals at other schools and I'll bring this with and get on the Wi-Fi so that's really nice but I mean if you if you don't need some of this stuff there's you know maybe you shouldn't get it that's the thing with the iPod touch it's it's a give or take situation whether or not you should get this depending on who you are um, if you just are looking for a simple music player you definitely don't want this but if you're looking for a gadget that does a lot more than music and can uh, do a lot more, especially when the App Store comes out. This is what you want. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, it's a really gorgeous thing. Not many complaints I have about it. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. And um, if you have any questions about the iPod Touch, just shoot me a message.